Okay. Hi there. Um, my name is Manasi Vartak. Um, I recently graduated from MIT, where ModelDB was part of my PhD thesis. We've since started a company called Verda to continue working on ModelDB and related tools. So today I'll be giving a quick overview on where we are with ModelDB, show a demo of V2, and uh, point out some areas where we're looking for help. Uh, let me just preface by saying it's super exciting to see so much interest around metadata. Two years ago when we started thinking about this, no one really cared, so this is, this is a good step. Um, all right, so why model management, right? Everyone here hopefully knows that model development is iterative. You're gonna try hundreds of models before finding one that works. On Kaggle, you'll routinely find that the top Kagglers will submit 100 to you know, almost 400 models before they win a competition. And currently, there isn't a good way to keep track of these models. And this causes problems that have been brought up before. Lack of reproducibility. How do I share my work with teammates? How do I look at history and search through models for the ones I care about? And how do I learn from previous experiments? So our solution there um, is a model management system. It's a central repository that tracks models throughout their life cycle. So not just training, but also deployment and monitoring as we, um, as we go along. So ModelDB was one of the first open source systems for model management. Um, we're closely tied to the MIT database group. Still there's uh, research going on there. We're open source. Um, the version two is gonna be Apache V2 license. So just putting that out there. And we've been super lucky in that large companies, particularly financial and insurance companies have adopted this as a way to track their models and pro provide audit logs around ML. Um, and since December of last year, ModelDB is available as a plugin for Kubeflow. Um, and that has actually introduced us to really awesome members of this community. Here's a very quick overview of how ModelDB works. If you're in the Jupyter Notebook or Python script, you import our library and then you make logging calls so that that data as well as artifacts can go sit in the ModelDB backend. Uh, the backend talks to the database and artifact store and then everything is visualized through our web app. Here's the status of ModelDB, um, a little bit of a repeat maybe, but V1 was integrated into Kubeflow December 18. Uh, V2 should be available in about one or two weeks. And the key things we did there was to rewrite the system from the ground up. We are very focused on scikit-learn and Spark ML when we built it. We have now extended it to support any Python-based ML framework. We also have a more robust artifact store and the ability to plug in multiple storage backends, which is important for uh, this community as well. We have ongoing integration with uh, Katib, where we're trying to make the backend of Katib integrable, not only with MySQL as it stands right now, but also with ModelDB. Cool, so I'm going to run a short video of our V2 demo, it'll be in the words of my colleague, into Michael, machine who's sitting over there. So like, feel free to find him later. Uh, can you guys see okay? Perfect, okay. Workflow. Let's say you're performing grid search with a fully connected neural network on an MNIST multi-classification task. Anywhere you'd like, you can make calls to the ModelDB client and log hyperparameters, data sets you're using, recurring observations, such as loss over time, metrics such as accuracy, and artifacts produced from your workflow, such as images and even the model itself. Afterward, with the same library, you can recover your experiment and query runs by a hyperparameter, sort by a metric, and recover all associated information. After logging data to ModelDB, you can use our web app to see your projects, complete with descriptions and tags. You can view an organized dashboard containing a summary of runs within the project with data log from the client. You can even set filters using drag and drop. And you can add and remove columns of information as needed. Finally, you can access more detailed views of runs you're interested in. Okay, awesome. Um, I hope that gives a good sense of what we're up to. Let me jump back. Okay, all right. Um, so that was Michael, feel free to bug him later if something looked interesting. All right, so that's what that is what we will be releasing in ModelDB v2. Um, we're also releasing a ModelDB managed service for folks who are not on Kubeflow and would like to still use model management. 
the things on our roadmap are deeper integrations with uh, TF, PyTorch, Scikit-Learn, and there's research projects going on. So two open questions I wanted to highlight, and these have already come up. One is how to drive community standards, because a lot of people are realizing that metadata is important, and we're super excited to see that interest um, getting to some sort of best practices around how to engage or how can we build something that can be used by multiple people at multiple companies. And the second one is more on the education front. Um, model metadata or model management is not necessarily the first thing a data scientist thinks about. So part of the thing that I think we need to do as a community is also educate data scientists that this is a need. And this is where we're looking for use cases um, to understand how maybe model management helped or lack of it hurt your company in the past. Um, so definitely come chat with us if that sounds relevant. We are an open source project, so contribute contributions, very welcome. Um, I'm listing a few of them here, mainly the backend uh, performance optimizations, deeper integrations with other Kubeflow modules, a lot of feedback and co-authoring blog posts too. We are based in Palo Alto now. We moved here from Boston. So we're holding a rather informal model DB hackathon. It'll be a chance to just hang out with people and build stuff. So please feel free to find me or sign up there. So that's model DB, plug for Verda, um, and come find us later. Thank you.